Can someone explain what's going on with Amber's financial advisor, Brittany? <laughs> Let's go. Uh, can I get something to drink right quick? You know. Um, ma'am. I... Ma'am. Yes. What? Wow. What is happening with this refrigerator? I don't cook a lot uh, because yeah. I'm here by myself, and I don't believe in cooking for men and what? doing wifely duties. What? When I this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. And at the same time, you're throwing shade at men. You have nothing in your fridge. You're about to be evicted. And you still have all of this talk. This is what I mean when I say what I say against Brittany. It's just, it's disgusting. I'm not a wife. What about cooking for yourself? Exactly. I mean, Ooh, we, that, let's ride. What do you want to eat? Um, open up whatever you want to do. Wherever you want to go, we going. All right. I, let me think about it. I think I want to stay. Okay, okay. All right. Ooh, <laughs> wait a minute. We got my phone. Let me grab okay. my phone. Let me grab my phone. Right. Let me grab my phone. At least he left her something because it's, it's this pathetic at this point in time. After all that stuff that she pulled off on Anthony and the different different people, you'd have never thought. Ready? You ready? Let's roll. Right. I appreciate everything you did tonight. I had a really good time. I had an awesome time. You know, you have really shaken things up in my life in a positive way. Okay. Yeah. Um, I appreciate you. I do. I really do. Everything all right? I mean, you know, I got I got stuff going on. I got stresses. Mm -hmm. You know, life throws its challenges for sure. Absolutely. But it's always a blessing when somebody comes and can make you smile in the middle of your, you know, your stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. That's what I'm here for. Yeah. yeah. It's I appreciate good it. To see Thank you. you for dinner. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Yeah. Trust me, whatever's going on, it's going to be all right. I appreciate it. Okay. That. Okay, all right, I'll see you later. I cannot take this. Really? <laughs> Tigger? Okay, it's obvious that Brittany is clearly struggling and she's struggling excessively bad, which explains some of the things that she was actually doing that were just out of jealousy. There were times that she really meant Amber a lot of good. But also there were times as well, like Shayla, that she has been pretty much very condescending towards um, Anthony. And I can see exactly where it's coming from because he has a lot of money and she probably felt like she has some entitlement to it. But this is what I'm talking about. When women sit down and degrade, this is what I don't like. When women or men sit down and degrade another gender and then afterward, and we're going to point it here at Brittany. And afterward, you're not doing very, very well. If you're not doing very well financially, you have nowhere at all to be giving people advice financially or to be telling one anything at all about their finances. What you should be focusing on is yourself. But you know what? Hey, hats off to Tigger for giving her some amount of money because I wouldn't have. Like to be very honest with you. But hey, I get it. I get it. Sometimes you got to give and let the world go around. But we have known Brittany and we have seen exactly how she has treated different characters, namely Dalen. But let me know what you guys think. Should Tigger have given her the money at all? <laughs> Or should you have a lawyer to call her parents and give her, give her the money? Let me know what you guys think. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm going to talk to y'all soon. <laughs>